So, hey guys. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. In fact, if you go to the middle of nowhere and hang a left, that's me. I'm on the Apache National Forest, or near the Apache National Forest, in far eastern Arizona. In fact, I could probably throw a rock into New Mexico if I threw hard enough. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm out here with my Starlink, Star Gear, my Jackery, and Murphy's Diesel coffee. Well, they don't make the coffee, they make the container that contains the coffee, which I appreciate. I, uh, I put that there for scale. So, you're probably getting some wind noise, and I kind of apologize for that. And I'll move it into the truck so uh, I can talk better. So as I was saying, forgive the heavy breathing. The sky is, uh, as soon as he gets in the truck, he breathes heavy. That's his thing. As soon as he gets out of the truck, he's fine. Unless he sees something. So, yeah, talking about the Starlink and the Star Gear case, protective case for it. It's awesome. I love it. It's nice and grippy. It doesn't slide anywhere, except for if it's on the dash and I hit waffle board, washboard or waffle board, roads or dirt roads, it'll slide around. Um, not very easily though, which is nice. So we got that. So that's my plug for Star Gear. It's a great little product. So that's what it looks like on the dashboard. There is a glare. And I was saying, that the unit or the kit comes with a deep black decal that goes over the face of the Starlink. I was concerned, two concerns. I thought that was gonna be permanent, but it wasn't. And it would overheat my Starlink, which unfortunately it did. Within 15 minutes of, of applying that black decal on there, it overheated on the dashboard on a cool day. So I won't be doing the the decal. I appreciate their uh, their thought though, because I guess on a normal, I'm not normal. I, I'm i pretty rough with my gear and uh, I keep it out in the sun for long periods of time when I'm working. So, and that means the engine's off and it's heating inside the dash. And even when I put it outside on the dashboard or on the, on the hood, it's still overheated. So maybe that's something their engineers could look at. I don't know. But the, it did cut down on the glare significantly. So big props for them. So it's pretty grippy and it holds position really well um, until I hit some washboards. Then it may or may not move. Most likely it won't, but you never know. And you don't want to have this covering the airbag uh, door in the dashboard but I don't have anybody with me, so I'm, I can do that. It won't, it won't bother anything, but if you have somebody in the car and it's covering that, that airbag door or port or cover, you could get a Starlink in your face. Well, it's not gonna shake out. In fact, when you put it together, if you could put a phone case on your phone, you can do this. And I haven't noticed any signal de degradation. So uh, it's got this little uh, notch here. You could actually thread your cable through when you uh, install the, the mount. I didn't do that because I'm always unplugging it. But the little lid closes right up on the cable. All is fine. You can see I use it because it's dirty. I, I work in a dusty environment. It is Arizona and I want to keep it real, but Here's the, the silicone or rubber, whatever it is, and it's really grippy. So I can carry it around, put it on a rock or a hard place or a log or whatever, and it's good. And then I'll also throw up, throw up, I won't throw up, but I'll also put the, where you can order this from. I, th I think I'm going to go with the Amazon affiliate link down in the description, and that will go to my nonprofit, Wings of Help. Help us search for lost animals, people, things, cattle, aliens, whatever. And so all proceeds from the affiliate sales would go to my nonprofit. I think that's a good thing to do.
and also a haircut, maybe a haircut too. We'll see.